Today on FTI TV, we're going to check out another massive coral hall down at Nature Aquariums. G'day everyone, my name is David Mayer and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV. Today we are back at my LFS Nature Aquariums down here, 723 Whitehorse Road in Montalbert. They have got an incredible haul of coral that has just arrived uh, down into their store from Ozfish and Coral. So I am stepping into their store now, which means I need to wear a mask. So I'm going to put on a mask and turn this camera around. So back inside, my beautiful family, my very, very understanding wife that allows me to gallivant around Melbourne and go to different stores and my little boy that one there is probably one of my favorite tanks in this store and i know i say that a lot about all of their tanks but we're here not to look at tanks we're here to look at coral so uh i was speaking to dean from Ozfish coral earlier in the week and he was telling me mate you need to get down to nature aquariums because he has just sent down an order which he reckons was one of the best uh, hauls of coral that he has done um so let's go and check it out now uh, this stock is going to reef stock and don't forget that reef stock is going to be on August 7th and 8th uh, in Sydney at the Sydney Showgrounds, a new venue. Uh, the booths are all nearly booked out, I believe, so there's only two or three booths left. Um, so if anyone is wanting to book a booth, I highly suggest that you guys get onto that very quickly. They've also released some extra... Um, rooms over at the Quest because the Novotel and the Pullman has sold out of rooms. Uh, so they've got some uh, a, a bigger stash of rooms there, but it's going to be an incredible collection of coral there. And I'm just going to say, uh, I've got a live stream happening on Monday the uh, 21st at 8 p.m. to talk about the future of the coral industry and the possible changes to the collection of Australian coral and what it means for our industry. So I'm going to say that this reef stock is possibly going to be the last reef stock that you may potentially be able to get big colonies of torches uh, like that, maybe some scollies. I, I, I'm calling it, this is going to be the last time you're going to be able to get your hands on something like this. So I'm going to highly suggest that you guys get down to Reefstock and check it out because you never know what's going to happen in the future and you don't want to miss out. So uh, look at this massive colony of a, uh, I think they're called a raster torch. No, That's about 10 different heads on there that I can count, probably more which is a massive, a oh, 22, I was way off, 22 heads on that torch there. And this torch, I love that color of the tips on it and actually provides a lot more sort of color pop in your tank, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, they've been hauling these, uh, hiding these torches in their display tank and you know, the, the torches aren't, uh, all the coral aren't completely open because I'm here right at door opening and uh, these have only just got their first hit of light, but all of those torches in the back corner there, down the side that they've been uh, holding on to are coming. Yeah, in a bit. And then uh, a lot of these uh, fungi are coming up as well. All the gold chalice that's in there. Uh, look at these beautiful torches that they've got. And these are absolutely just this, the most brightest toxic green that I've seen. And you got uh, this one here. It's not poisonous, that's it. It's not like a bronzy gold teal tip torch there. Uh, that's got one, two, three, four, five heads. Uh, you're looking at these toxic green torches. They've got it's probably 10 to 15 heads each as well. And once these open, and I've seen these open the other day, they are just a massive handful of tentacles. And absolutely stunning. Uh, some big, big colonies of uh, red glitter gonies as well. But uh, you, I keep saying this time and time again, but you don't see too often gonies this sort of size. And they are more red than what you see on the camera here. The filter's turning a little bit orange. Uh, they've got a nice uh, bright hammer that's coming there, the one in the middle. That's going to be coming up. And in real life, that's a lot more yellow than it is green. And that's because of the lens. Uh, they've got a few of these lobos coming up that are sort of multicolor as well, uh, that are quite nice. A lot of these rigs are coming up. John is going to be spending some time just, uh, you know, getting them onto rocks and maybe fragging some of them. This one here is particularly gorgeous. And that orange one back there is absolutely massive. Um, so this is the stash. Oh, a lot of this sign arena. 
uh, are coming up as well. You've got oranges, reds, greens, multiple colors. So a lot of this stuff they've been hauling in their display tank uh, is going to be coming up to reef stock. And like I said, I can't stress um, how amazing these colonies are. And you really don't see too often uh, colonies of torches and gonies this size. Uh, so that's going to be from the display tank. We've got him, we might as well pop downstairs while Marco is uh, doing some work. I'll make sure Steve sees that, mate. <laughs> we'll walk downstairs here and we're just going to have a quick geezer in their uh, coral tanks. And uh, my wife's just appreciating all the coral that she's going to be buying me, aren't you, honey? Going to be buying me a lot of coral? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Hello, buddy. We got uh, a fresh acro shipment that's just arrived as well. Quite a few pieces have actually already sold. They had a massive tray across this. They've got heaps and heaps of frags in here now as well. Look at this. I'm gonna get that into focus. Look at that rick. That rick is absolutely beautiful. Uh, but lots of blasto frags starting at 30 bucks and 40 bucks and 50 bucks. Uh, Red goni frags, I think they're about 40 or 50 bucks, which is extremely cheap. Uh, they got some purple glitters that have just come in from Sustainable Reefs as well. And some uh, flaming good goni. I don't know what that means, but here we can have a look from the top down. Oh, which is those pieces there. Uh, sort of a red base with uh, red and yellow tips on it. They're stunning, those pieces there. Look, there's heaps and heaps of frags. I think Marcus McNamara just came here and actually cleaned up a stack of frags out of this tank as well. Got heaps of macro, they smashed up some Monty, uh, some nice uh, Montipora, Digitata. I think it's a green goblin up the front there. They've got some of this uh, dragon breath macro algae as well at 20 bucks a stem, which is something that you actually don't see too often. Uh, but as usual, the tanks are completely stocked here with heaps of uh, different coral. John is just running around doing some stuff there. Oh, beautiful. Oh, good man. Just turn off the flow so we can have a quick look from the top down. Uh, lots of hammers as usual as well. Elegances, torches. Uh, we'll go around to the other side actually. Look at these. these. So now we can get chopped up all these sort of yellowy ones and stuff and gold. Oh, they're beautiful. So that some of them don't have a mouth at the moment, but I'm just getting aminos into them. Yep. Ones like that and that. Yeah, okay. Let's see how we go. They're a beautiful colour, those ones, though. Let's see if we can get so like propagating. Beautiful. And then uh, John is just doing the water test for the morning. They've got the fancy new machine here. It's a test. Uh, but these pieces here, sorry if I'm moving too fast for you guys, but uh, these torches are really beautiful. You got uh, the gold tips, very much like the ones up the front, but more so in singular heads. Um, these are more of the uh, toxic green ones as well. Look at that. That's beautiful. Multicolored. I think that's a Favia. But that's stunning. A uh, nice collection of scollies as well, as usual. Uh, bow banky. This one here, they've got some uh, cute little bubble tip nems in here as well, rose bubble tips. This bower here absolutely glows, and I think that is eventually going to come back from me. With me, sorry. Uh, but they've got a nice um, tracky over on that side that's glowing, which I just won't walk back around there. But uh, completely stacked with coral. There's no doubt about that here. And it's just so much stuff. And they've got a fair bit of fish here too at the moment. I'll take off the lens. And uh, there's some stocky antheas up there. Banner fish, rabbit fish. Some really cool little wrasses as well. Just chilling there. There's some striped cardinal fish. Uh, I think that's a flamingi tang in there. What a good selection of fish. Uh, a couple of the wrasses I've noticed are absolutely gorgeous. That one there looks to be a carpenter's wrasse, I think. 
It's got really nice colours. There's two of them in there. Some more banners, a couple of little tangs. A little spotted mandarin in there. This guy with heaps of character just darting around there. Uh, I think all the purple tangs now are actually gone. Uh, they've got one blue tang left at the top there. And of course, as usual, a few clowns as well. But definitely lots and lots of stock, heaps of coral here, and I think another shipment arriving today as well. So if you guys haven't been down, make sure you get down here to Nature Aquariums because these are some of the best torches that I've seen in a very, very long time in a store. Uh, some huge colonies, unfortunately, coming to reef stock. And speaking of reef stock, that is going to be August 7th and 8th at the Sydney Showgrounds. They've got some, uh, I'll put a link to the website so you can check out their accommodation that they've got on the special rates as well. Um, I've got my live stream happening on Monday, the 21st uh, at 8 p.m. So jump over to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page to get the details for that to find out what the future of the coral industry is going to be. We've got Daniel from Monsoon and Dean from Ozfish Coral, who are two of the most um, people that are all over what is happening and uh, involved in a lot of the negotiations. So that'll be really important because that is pivotal for the industry. And also, I'm going to be up in Sydney on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm going to be hitting up a few stores. I'm still looking for a spectacular tank to film. So if you guys uh, want to nominate your tank for you, please shoot me a message. I'd love to pop around maybe on Tuesday night. Uh, and if you want to join me at any of the store tours I'm going to be running around, shoot me a message and maybe we can meet up. But my friends, I uh, hope you guys like this quick video of a walk around my LFS with some amazing coral. Uh, if you've got any questions whatsoever or letting me know that uh, you want me to come around to your place or join me for an LFS tour while I'm in Sydney, leave a comment down below. And my friends, please consider subscribing to the channel because it costs you guys absolutely nothing all, but it goes a long way into helping this channel grow. And my friends, until next time. Peace.